name is Nia Muda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to create a simple hide for Nescaf. So, um, it's, it's an A4. So, we just go over to Pixel App and we go ahead to this. Alright, for the capacities, let the height be 3500 and this. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to bring in one of the elements we'll be using. Okay, and I'll pick my background from this guy. So the background is going to be a gradient background. All right, one of the colors is going to be red. The other color is going to be also red, but a little bit brighter. Okay, but we'll do this. I increase this. Let's see, increase this. Okay. Alright, so I'm not using this guy. So I just want to go ahead and bring in this one. Alright, this is the logo I'll be using. Alright. Alright. So because the background is already red, it means that we can change this guy to white. All right, then I can change that open up to yellow. So let's go. We can just go. Let's leave. Just leave that first. Come over here. Remove background from this guy. Remove background from this guy. Mm. Just make it fast. Move back on from this and this. Right. So click on transparent. Click on export. And save. So when you have saved, you want to make sure that you go back again to here. Click on this guy like this right go to filters increase the brightness increase the saturation increase the contrast a little and still reduce it yeah make sure you centralize it okay then come over here Bring in this guy. Crop at this part. Okay. Crop this part at. Okay. Then fix it at the mid at the center here. All right. Then add shadow to it white shadow okay all right um, so right here I'm going to increase this right increase this oh, okay. I think that's okay this then remember this guy said I'm going to copy it like this now clean out this this guy here I'll clean this guy out okay ok 
Okay. Then here also, I'll clean this one out. Okay, so this one, I'm going to change the color now to yellow. So I can bring it there like that. Right, and send it to the back. Mm, it's not perfect there. Bring it here. And do this. Centralize this guy. Centralize this guy. All right, then try to adjust this. Yeah. All right, push this guy one, two, down. Mm. Okay. So we are going to add something else but then let's leave that so just come over here and just write, write a dummy test um i'll just use a quote just come over here nest calf quote So I'm just gonna paste it there. Okay. All right. I'll I'll change the font and centralize it. Still move this one down. All right. So then I'm going to bring in this guy here. This guy. Just increase it. this guy here oh, it's going to be around this So then we can save. Alright, so just save very quickly and we'll go over to Pix Art and then add the so go to um Pix Art and we had the smoke. Click on that, click on this, then we'll go to add photo all right then we had this guy here all right then we'll go to blend all right go to blend click on screen then you increase it like this you can you can 
even edit it. Let's see. Let's go to let's save it right come back here do this move this right add a shadow at the bottom here click on sticker click here right move it to the center then change the color to black then move it here you can reduce the opacity a little right so we can save it again all right so let's go back now let's go to go over to photo room photo pier right I'm going to go and add it to a mock-up you click on open click on file and locate the, the, the file that you have saved on your device the mock-up file so this is what I'm going to be using all right I will drop a link to download it in the description of this video right i'm going to go over here click on layer then where you have your image here i will click the drop and i will double tap this part here let me show you all right i'll double tap this out did that little boss there so that I can drop my image by clicking open and place click on open and place I'll be able to drop my image right there all right so this is it so if you wait for it to load it has been loaded then make sure that you make it feel everywhere Right. once you are done you click on file and click on save smart object once you click on save smart object you wait for some seconds and it will be saved it is loading it is loading smart object has been saved can I come back here I will click on this guy again this first menu I'll click on it and I'll see the effect here Right, so I can go ahead. You can change the background. Oh, I want the background to be to be white. So I'll just come over here, click on OK, and this is what we have. I click on File, click on um, Export As, click on PNG. You wait for it to load. They will give you an ad. Click on Save. And then you wait for it to download as you can see it has been downloaded sometimes you may get an ad right don't forget to like my youtube channel like this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this my name is Ni Hamuda